If you were to ask a group of people what a community was to them, you would likely get mixed responses. Is it the people that you grew up with or those that you identify with? Or is it tied to religion or culture or all of the above? Graffiti artist and muralist Elizabeth Liz Reyes believes community is being around loved ones and uniting with the people around you. A concept she shows in her mural titled Celebrando Comunidad or Celebrating Community. The two-dimensional mural was spray painted and is located on the walls of restaurant Nuevo León on Rondale and 26th Street or more specifically at 3657 West 26th Street in Chicago, Illinois. Celebrando Comunidad is inspired by El Día de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. The size of the mural is unspecified, but it stretches out across the entire two-story building. The bold piece came to life after AARP asked Laura Gutierrez Ramos, the restaurant owner, if she would allow her restaurant to be a canvas for the mural. It did not take much for Ramos to eagerly agree as the mural would send an important message to her community and loved ones. Ramos's only exception to her restaurant being used as a canvas was that Reyes add El Cerro de la Silla, which is a mountain in Nuevo León, Monterrey, and a meaningful landmark to its people. Laura's grandfather migrated from Nuevo León to the United States, where he supported his children in opening up two restaurants in Latinx communities, one in Pilsen and the other in Little Village, where Reyes would paint her Dia de los Muertos inspired mural. Both restaurants had the name Nuevo León, but the one in Pilsen was tragically destroyed by a fire that led to its unfortunate closure. With the mural that Liz painted on the Little Village restaurant, the owners felt honored and pleased to have been able to give back to their community. It was like a fresh start. The themes explored in Liz's mural are clothing, body, shelter, ceremony, death and immortality, and history and memory. The Mexican-oriented holiday celebrates and commemorates loved ones that have passed away. The clothing in the mural is bright, colorful, and lively. In contrast to the typical all-black attire in traditional funerals, the Day of the Dead features fun party clothes. Women wear flowy dresses with puffy sleeves and men wear colorful sombreros and fancy suits. The bodies in skeleton form represents the dead who come back to party with their loved ones. Sugar skulls are also another tradition where they are face painted on people to give life to those in the afterlife. This tradition relates to the theme of death and the ceremony activities that immortalize the people commemorated. The sugar skulls have come alive. The musicians in the piece were also a crucial part in representing the holiday celebration aspect because music is a staple in Mexican celebrations. Having a mariachi play on El Dia de los Muertos brought everyone together and unified the community. Another element of the theme of death is the flowers along the bottom of the building. They are called marigold flowers on the day of the dead. The most commonly their significant used stems from their vibrant colors and the aroma that they give off, which is believed to be used to lure out the spirits of the dead to their ofrendas because of the flower's strong scent. Shelter also plays a fundamental role in this painting because people who celebrate the holiday are doing so to shelter their deceased loved ones by making their ofrendas or altars in honor of the dead, containing their favorite items such as candy, food, flowers, drinks, and other significant objects particular to that diseased person. Once the dead have been lured out of their graves, they are believed to spiritually celebrate with their loved ones, who have also played music and put out water for the dead, who are presumably thirsty after their long travel from their graves. Candles are also put out to light the path for the spirits to find their way to their altars. The mural depicts the dead joining in on their celebrations, having the space and shelter. Just like shelter is provided by celebrations of El Dia de los Muertos for the dead, Little Village provides shelter to hundreds of Latinos who feel comfortable publicly displaying their culture. So Liz was sure to incorporate the infamous La Villita or Little Village arch that was designed by Mexican-American artist and architect Adrián Lozano. The design was first proposed by Jesús Chuy Garcia, who was an older man at the time, with the idea to mimic similar arches in Mexican street entrances. Former Mexican President Carlos Salinas de Gortari traveled to Chicago after the completion of the arch and donated the clock currently residing at the center of the arch. It had been made by the oldest clockmaker in Mexico. Salinas wanted Little Village residents, along with the thousands of other Mexicans living in Chicago, to know that he and the Mexican government recognizes them and their hard work. By painting traditional objects to represent the Day of the Dead, Reyes records the history and memory of past loved ones.
This mural depicts representational art because it represents skeletons that are clearly defined. Taking a look at the formal elements of art, we can see that the lines shown on the mural are organic because they are curved and loose. There's not much position in straight lines or straight angles. The different gazes of the skeletons can give off implied lines to the viewer. The one holding the fruit basket is looking downward, directing your attention to the fruit basket in front of her. The three male skeletons are also gazing downward, which prompts the viewer's eyes to follow in that direction. Several contour lines are also shown along with the dress, sombreros, flowers, and even the fruit basket. These lines give the painting definition and convey a free-flowing emotion. The flowing lines evoke freedom and joy as opposed to structure and constraints. For the most part, the shapes, like the lines, are loose and curved, with the exception of the confetti, which is somewhat geometric because some of the pieces feature all straight or sharp sides. The mural has a closed form because the action of the subject matter is happening within the borders of the frame of space. All the texture present is implied because the artwork is two-dimensional and what our eyes perceive as tactile quality is not the same as what we'd feel if we were to touch the walls of the restaurant. Now that we know about the visual aspects and the meaning behind the painting, let's take a look at the context behind it. It's unclear when the painting of the mural began, but the opening ceremony for the completed piece was on October 18, 2019. In 2019, the post-colonial art and global contemporary art movements were ongoing. The Little Village mural has similarities to post-colonial artwork. Reyes incorporated various cultural and traditional objects in her painting, similar to post-colonial artwork. She told a story through her art and real-life events. Likewise, artists such as John Cucuzzi Smith create pieces that share the cultural values of colonized land to keep traditions alive and educate others. The similarities in the artworks tell us that the artist sees great significance in her cultural background and wants to immortalize its practices through art. The style in Celebrando Comunidad, it's the Chicano art movement style from the 1960s and the 1970s. Like this mural, Chicano art portrayed Latinx customs in the form of murals to celebrate the heritage and educate the people of the communities about the history and the culture of Mexico. Much of the Chicano art movement took place in Los Angeles, California, but its influence on the world of art has multiplied, as you can see from this painting. Chicano artists in the LA community wanted to educate Mexican Americans in the area who had assimilated to American culture, so creating art centered around empowerment, self-definition, resistance, religion, and cultural identity was vital. Techniques used in these types of artworks included using complementary and local color schemes for maximum vibrance and capturing stories within meticulously curated murals. It took Liz over 200 cans of spray paint to complete the final piece. Bold colors were used to mimic the clothing and artifacts of Mexican culture. AARP, formerly known as the American Association for Retired Persons, commissioned the mural as a gift to the Latinx community with the intent to show Little Village residents, but more specifically the elders and caregivers, that they are seen, heard, and have support. AARP Chicago, being a patron, tells the viewers of the community that there are resources available for them. A similar mural, Reyes, was commissioned by AARP and was also inspired by the Day of the Dead, was painted directly on the CTA Pink Line train. The mural Celebrando Comunidad appears to be a blown up version of that painting on the CTA train. The color palette stayed the same and both pieces have a distinct resemblance. It's clear from both artworks that Reyes has a deep appreciation for the holiday, her heritage, and the community around her. Taking her art to largely populated areas of Chicago suggests Liz wants to celebrate the Latinx community while educating those who do not already know about the culture. In conclusion, Reyes's mural Celebrando Comunidad illustrates the importance of unity and seeing the good in otherwise grim situations. She has commemorated her work to the people of Little Village and her loved ones, alive and dead. The Day of the Dead explores immortality, ceremony, history, and memory, which Celebrando Comunidad represents. The political and religious circumstances near the time of the mural's creation straighten these fundamental ideas. A close community makes all the difference. For my extra credit original artwork, I had a couple of ideas 
but ultimately decided on something simplistic but with a strong message behind it. Incorporating the dead was a must, so the setting of this piece takes place in a graveyard, which is where ofrendas are often made in El Dia de los Muertos. Like Liz's piece, there is a skeleton doing the celebrating as opposed to any living being. The skeleton is serenading the dead with a violin that's inspired by the guitar from the Disney movie Coco, which was made to explain El Dia de los Muertos and its significance to those who celebrate the holiday. The influential movie won Best Animated Film Award, among several other awards. The colors here match the purple color palette used on Celebrando Comunidad. The trail of marigold flower petals along the ground represents the path that was taken by the spirits of the dead to come out and celebrate with their loved ones. The glowing path is symbolic of the strong aroma of the honorary flowers and the spirits they bring. Since the point of the holiday is to commemorate the dead, I wanted to include the names of my ancestors and other influential historical figures on the tombstones. Lastly, I couldn't leave out the sombrero, which again is purple in relevance to the artwork that I chose to research for this project. And as mentioned earlier, marigolds are symbolic of hope and faith, so the otherwise dark and somber setting is lit up by the music, which is spreading joyness. Thank you for watching!